Hi. Today I'm going to show you how to use the uh, SciStack cal calculator to calculate at one way between subjects ANOVA. So if I go down to the statistical test and I go to the fourth one, one way ANOVA is my second option. When I get to one way ANOVA, it has a nice description of how to do it. Uh, I have to tell you that I tried choosing files about six times today and for some reason it didn't read my CVS files. It didn't tell me it didn't read it, it just gave me weird answers. So I'm going to do it the other way. So I have to put my data in for each condition that I have and if I switch over to my Excel uh, I've got basically this is what I started with trying to get in. So I put it into the format here that they expect in each of those with a comma between each. Now I have to add another one and might as well add another one while I'm at it because this is a three group experiment. And so the second group fits in the second row. The third group fits in the last row. And so now I have my data in. In order to calculate it, I simply have to say calculate. Now I get a lot of results. I'm making it as big as I can. They're going to be over to the side. The first group, there are 10 subjects. There's the sum, the sum squared, the mean, which is what we're really looking to see if there's a difference between these three means that's more than you would expect by chance alone. And there's the variance for that group of data. The same thing is given for the next two groups. And then the output includes the grand statistics which can be very interesting and are necessary if you were calculating these things by hand. This is our basic analysis of variance summary table. It's not in the form that we're used to looking at it, but first of all, it tells you the degrees of freedom for the design. We had three conditions, therefore the degrees of freedom for the numerator is 3 minus 1, which is 2. We had 10 observations in each condition, therefore the degrees of freedom for the denominator is 3 times 9. And it gives us the sums of squares for the treatment and the error, the total sums of squares, the mean squares for the treatment, and the mean squares for the error. Then it gets to the F statistic, Fisher's F statistic, and that is 7.124. The probability of getting that F with these degrees of freedom, that is this design, is the probability here, P is equal to 0 0.0032, and it also gives us a critical value if we were using that form of analysis. So our observed F is higher than the critical, so we know it's significant. We knew it's significant also because this p-value is less than alpha, which is 0.05. In red letters, this app very nicely tells us how to interpret the results. So we reject the null hypothesis. Remember the null hypothesis is that there is no difference among those three means because this is greater than that. Then it does the post hoc analyses and this is a very nice thing about this app because whenever you have more than two means that are different just because there's differences you don't know which ones are different. And so this app automatically does Tukey's Honestly Significant Difference Test and so it gives us a studentized range statistic. If you were calculating this by hand, this is the number Q. It puts it into the formula, calculates the HSD as 1.699. And then it does the comparisons between the three groups. Group 1 and 2, are the difference between them is greater than the HSD. Groups 1 and 3, greater than HSD. But groups 2 and 3 are similar because their difference is less than the HSD. It also gives us this very nice scatter plot. Um, this is what, not what we normally look at. And you might notice that there's not as many dots as there are data points. And that's because some of the data points are more than represented more than once. And they're right on top of each other. And you can't see it. But group 1, this is the grand mean. You can see that most of the data is below the grand mean and it's spread out so it gives you an idea of the spread. Group 2 
spread out around the grand mean, group three spread out, but not as much. And so that's the form of that graph. And so again, this is SciStat Calc. Uh, it's an app that uh, does this particular analysis very well. That's all, folks.